I'm not really into instructional videos. Actually, this is my first one, even though I'm halfway through my project. I'm making a clutch purse and I just added beautiful color blues and a little tone of gold I weaved in between. I decided to put some crushed rock on them. Now, it's exact same color, that's why, oops, that's why I'm doing it. So, here goes. I hope it turns out okay. I just poured this about five, ten minutes ago. So obviously this is the outside of the clutch and I didn't have to tint the cross rock stones. It just turned out the, the, it's the exact same color as my resin. And I'm going to try not to overdo it. Maybe a couple of places. I had to take my right hand glove off because I just couldn't pinch them. I've only made one of these before and it was a round one. So this time I want to try my rectangle clutch to see which one I like better. The other one was a beautiful pink purple thing. But ocean colors are my favorite. Anything to do with a nautical theme. That's probably enough for that one. Now I'm going to go to this part. I'm trying to follow the gold, but. I don't think it's going to work. So I'll just make my own pattern. And I'll do a line over here. I might do another line of glitter. Yeah, that should do it. The important thing about resin and creating is just go with it. Try not to uh, try not to be structure too much of a pattern. Okay, I think that should be enough rocks. Double check this one again. I might just pat it down. I've got a clean stick though. Pat it down a little bit. call this step two because I didn't think about the video the first step but those of you who do resin will know the first step As long as the resin is covering the stones and they stay in place, that should be fine. Hmm, I think I like it.
One thing about resin that I've learned is don't overdo it. So I'm going to stop. Now I need some, a little bit of glitter. Hmm. Oh, I've got really nice stuff. I can use. Here it is. This is really, really striking. It's called uh, well, White Mix Crystal Glitter. It's from Artworks Canada. And I'm using liquid diamonds, by the way. So I'm going to put another, a little row of this beautiful glitter. Let's see. We're, uh, maybe on the other side of the gold. Just to give it that sparkle. These little tiny spoons are so helpful. And a little bit of stir on top of the gold right here this time. These are tiny, so it sinks right in. It will sparkle though when it's when it's cured. I'm not being too too particular. stop after this because I don't want to ruin it. Sometimes when you overwork resin, you make mistakes and then you try to fix it and then you <laughs> then it gets then you it gets to the point where you can't bring it back to where you wanted it. Sometimes it happened to me. Looks like sugar. I love sparkle. Did I cover everything? I think I did. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Oh, I love the color. It's a Caribbean color to me. So there you have it. I'm going to stop there and when I'm ready to um, demold tomorrow night or the next day, I'll do another video and follow up. Thanks for watching. Bye.